Welcome back to The Witness. We've left yet another aspect of this game behind us. We are now done with the audio logs. I suppose I should go back to the lake to check if anything changed, but I, I doubt anything did. And well, nothing happened like immediately when listening to all of the, the logs, so I suppose, again, spoiler restrictions are fading away as we speak. So if there is something that happens when you do all of the logs, when you've opened all of the flowers, other than just the flowers are all open, then uh, you can just let me know. At least, like, let me know if something changed or whatever. But today, we'll start focusing on completing these pillars. The black pillars, the obelisks, and turning them white. And let's take a quick look here, because there is something I'm wondering. Here's my save file. You haven't really seen this much, but... I actually don't have all of the puzzles solved, apparently. As far as I know, there's 523 puzzles to solve. Then this is the, uh, these are the environmental puzzles, I believe. And these are how many obelisks you've uh, completed. And we only have one white pillar. So I honestly don't really understand why these two numbers even exist. Like, wouldn't it be enough to just show the pillars or something? Because, like, either one, really. Because... If you have all of the environmental puzzles, you will have all the pillars too. There's no way around that, right? But yeah, there's like four puzzles somewhere that I guess I've missed. And I really have no idea what those would be. Unless they are, can they be related to finding environmental puzzles? Because I, I guess that could be a thing. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I suppose. But for now, let's go back to the swamp. Like I said, because uh, there's a couple things we need to do there, like right away. And then I'll probably try and do them more or less methodically, but I'll probably skip around a bit. Like if I if I can't find one puzzle that's near one pillar and I, I just get bored or whatever, then I can go to a, a different one. But yeah, so here, I believe we have to like keep one of these... So, like, I'll, I'll move this one to begin with, uh, and we'll do this, I suppose, that, and then I believe we head up here onto this, like, overlook, right? Is it more than that? Maybe it's more than that. If you move both of these? Oh no, that's not possible. Yeah, one of them has to be there. Oh, maybe it's something where like you actually have to use both. Where you have to flip these and then run across and then when both of them are turning you can like go through here but then go out here as well or something. Because yeah, here's one, here's one, there's another one, there's like a lot of them. Oh, okay, There, there we go. There's the one. Is that nothing? That kind of looks like a circle, too. So, yeah, we have that. This one, I guess I just need to move... Maybe I just need to move this one for both. So, we'll see. But, yeah, those are very, like, old environmental puzzles. They were on screen very early in the series, I remember. Alright, let's just move this again. Just in time for it to be done. The problem now is I can't get back over, which is going to be a little annoying. Yeah, it kind of looks like you don't need both. Unless this one goes all the way, like, around here. Then you did need to do what I just did, or maybe the opposite. We'll see. Yeah, this one looks like it has to go past it, but are we going to be able to? It's closing in. Oh, there we go. Yep, you have like a, a slight window of time. I don't know if, if you do it the other way. Maybe you have like more of a window or something. But yeah, that's cool. So this one is for moving only this one. This one is for both of them, and this one is for only this one. So there we go. Got three of those. 
And where do they go again? Is that's the mountain one? I see. So that's like for the entire area. Swamp and mountain and... Uh... What's it called? The bunker area. Yeah, and I can't really move this one now. Can I? Or was there some way... I know you can, like, at least if you move both of them away, you can stand here, I believe, to, to solve it. But you can't do that from this side, can you? Uh. I, I don't, I don't think you can. No, shit, wait. Yeah, I can't move all the way to the left here and then down. Alright, I think we have to go all the way around. I suppose it could be worse. It's not, like, too far. And we have to go into the swamp anyway. Because there are a couple more. I don't think I want to go this way. Eh! Do I? I want to go down. Was there a way down, like, in the red here? I think it's probably better to go this way. Because I think pretty much all of the basements here have environmental puzzles, and I only found, like, one or two or something. So, I guess we'll have to move across here. Yeah, we already got these ones, so that's fine. There we go. So right down here, this is one where I, I thought there was a puzzle right here, but it didn't work because the shade isn't quite right, which... It's kind of strange because we've definitely seen other environmental puzzles where it was not, like it was way more lenient than that in the, uh, like which shade it was. I think it was the uh, the one with the RGB room where you set it to uh, red, is it, or something, and then you can do one there. So I don't know, kind of a strange one. Nothing under here. Wait, no, no, we don't have any logs anyway. But what you have to do is just move this one back instead. And then as it moves, it'll make the red thing paler and paler because of, like, diffraction or whatever. So there we go. And was there anything else down here? No. Not from what I can tell. But yeah, now I guess we're stuck here too. Can't go that way anymore. And then here, was there something here? There's the alligator. No. No, this one doesn't have any puzzles in it, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I guess not. But then here? Hmm. Yeah, this one probably also doesn't have anything. I could have sworn one more basement had something. Probably the purple one? Which is, like, over there, I believe. Okay, let's just fix this up for now. So yeah, you can solve it from here as well. Yeah. Not that I need to do it now, but you can. 
So now that'll line up again. And now I want to go to purple. So I have to do this right. And I think I did it, like, the wrong way around. Oh well. Everything in the swamp is just so slow. It all moves really slowly and takes forever to get anywhere, which is a little annoying. But maybe that's the whole point, because it's a swamp. Does this have something? This, that could be a, a puzzle. Yeah, we should, we should look around here. Oh, quick. Like when the shadow goes to here, or maybe the opposite side. When the shadow goes down here. Yeah, that's nothing. That could be something. Alright, we'll we'll look at that, but let's check down here first. Yeah, so right here. Interesting. So how would we change these around? Stop it. So this this could work. Yeah, there we go. So that's just about perspective. But then yellow. Ah, I see. That's It's the same here. Oh, man. But yeah, see, like, there's actually super lenient. These are not the same shades whatsoever. But on the, uh, the first one, it's, like, really, really strict. That's kind of strange. All right. Cool. Now, let's, let's see if we can flip this one entirely and just go to... Uh, how do I do this? No, I can't, I can't do that. I have to, like, start here? There we go. And now we wait. A full year. And... Aha! But where are we going? Oh, I'm I'm in the way. Where are we going with that? Hmm. Are we going all the way across to there? And if so, how the hell could I do that? What is it doing? Oh yeah, purple and red. Okay, yeah, it's just like kind of flipped a little bit. Well, so there's definitely something there. So let's take it back to black and blue if I can. Maybe I have to stand like here so my shadow doesn't block it. I don't know where I would go with it. Yeah, I think, I think that might be it. We have to take it all the way across to there, but... It's kind of strange. Yeah, that's definitely what you do. Okay, so I guess, like, let's just stop it right now and go back to purple and red. Okay, so we want it spinning over here. We want it spinning counterclockwise. How do I do that? So this, I guess I'm doing... I'm solving it. Isn't this counterclockwise? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I solve it the other way around, and that's, like, clockwise? Yeah, that would be clockwise. Alright, so we stand here. Now it should work. Yeah. But it's not done yet. We have to wait for this to get in view. Oh, I might have messed up. I might have messed up with my positioning. Oh, just barely got it. Holy crap. Intense. The slowest, most intense environmental puzzle. Uh, 
so now I guess we have to just go back again, yeah. Wait, and I want it, yeah, I want it blue and, blue and black. That's the best for just, like, traveling around. And at least we can get off pretty soon. Actually, no, I can't, because I can't go this way, because I sent the thing. Let, let's just go here and check. This will fix itself. I just want to confirm, like, I actually can't fix this without going to the other side, can I? I mean, we can go out here, I guess. Oh! Oh, interesting! These are like pressure plates, or something. Well, that's a, a clever little invention. It actually can tell that I'm here on this side and I need to go across. It's still slow as fuck, but that's still convenient. Very convenient. So yeah, I, I want to say I'm kind of done-ish in the swamp now. I feel like we, we got a lot of them. And the only ones that I've been told about were the, the purple things and the one uh, the one down here. So that wasn't too bad. Figured out quite a, a decent bit there. And... Wait, what do we do now? This way? Yeah, there we go. Man, it just feels like there are so many things like this and just circles in this area, so there could very well be more, but I guess we'll take a look at the pillar. But again, I'll look at the uh, the starting area as well. Also, I kind of wonder if we go into... Oh! Wait! Maybe that's why I don't have all 523? Because we... Technically, in this save, I have not gone into the, uh, the hotel, the resort, and there were, like, there were a, at least one or two puzzles in there, right? I don't know if they count. I, I can't quite remember everything, but that could be it. That could be, like, why I don't have every puzzle in the save file. So, I was gonna say, at some point we should just head in there, even if I'm not ending the series quite yet, just to check out those, uh, those Easter egg cameras and see which ones I recognize and stuff. All right, so here, got quite a few. There's three more. And one there. Wow, that's a windy one, holy crap. Where is, what is this one? Whoa, what is this one? What are these? When did I do these? Huh? What the hell could these be? Inside the mountain? Is that something to do with a challenge? This just like shows you that I've completed the challenge or something? But then why are there three? I, I have no idea what these refer to. And then I can't remember this one. Oh, man. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, like, not remembering the area I'm in. And these... are... kind of in the swamp, right? Ish? Yeah, either swamp or in here. Hmm. Oh boy, these are going to be really hard to find, aren't they? Yeah, let's let's leave this one. Let's go all the way back. Let's swing by the lake right now just to check in. All of the flowers are blooming and stuff. And then maybe I should try... Maybe I should swing by the white pillar we have just to like see if I can figure out something about how these are... If there, there's something to read into, like with the lily pads here. Though the li lily pads turn out to uh, maybe not quite be what I was hoping for. But yeah, I mean, all of the flowers are blooming, but doesn't look like there's anything new in that sense. How's our pillar here doing? One, two, three, four. Not too bad. 
That seems doable. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything has changed because you got all of the uh, the logs. Yeah, all right. Let's just quickly swing by this white pillar and just maybe see if there's something that I can make sense of in terms of like the ordering of them. Like the ones in the desert temple or whatever. Yeah, so like... Uh, this one is the elevator, right? And this one is the uh, water lowering. I don't know why these ones are like here, why they're on a different... I mean, I guess just because there wasn't room. But these ones are like... In that case, does it, does it go in order like from here to here? Oh, man. Because, okay, these ones are... Maybe it, maybe it's kind of a height map sort of thing? I don't know. Can, that, can it be that simple? Because, like... This is the, uh, the temple. Just, we were standing on top of the temple and used the sun, sun glare. And then this is also sun glare. This is also sun glare. I think this one is maybe also sun glare. Were there four of them? I guess this is what we're doing for the remainder of this episode. Let's just, like, try and reconfirm some things about environmental puzzles. Were there four right here? There might have been. Haven't been here, like, in the actual temple for quite a while. That's not the way to go. Yeah, so here... Can we see? Yeah, here's... Here's this one. Yeah, we saw that one. Yeah, I think that's the other one, right? And then we just had one that was like... Oh yeah, the other one was like on the front, right? Right here? Yeah, there and then to the right. I don't know how the one to the right worked again, there, yeah. Yeah, okay, alright, that makes sense. Let's check the pillar again. But, like, everything couldn't be just a vert verticality map. But I guess maybe in sort of the order you're supposed to discover them, or as you progress through the area. Because, yeah, temple front, temple front, light path, light path, like, from above the temple. This is the, uh, water draining room. This is the elevator. But then what are these two? Where did I see those? If they were past the point of this one, the water room, that would make sense. Because these ones were beforehand. This one I don't even remember. And this one is like right at the uh, the edge here where you go in the boat and like follow the line. Right? Yeah, this one and these two I'm kind of curious about. So maybe I'll just go and... Confirm that. Check that if I can remember where where those are. So yeah, we have these ones here. Don't really need to confirm these. So let's just ignore that. And then this room. Which we only had one puzzle in. And then here. Do we have two more puzzles here? Hmm. I mean, they could be, like, through here, I suppose. It doesn't seem like there are any normal environmental puzzles here. So I don't know where I got those from. And that's kind of a problem, then. 
And then this is the initial pillar. This is the first one for the first area. And we had a couple left here. One there. Really weird one here. This one was just like the flower bed. And this is the uh, initial one. First one in the game. So I guess these ones would be kind of close to that. These are the... Uh, uh, when you go in the boat, right? Or something? Maybe not. No, these are in the boat. And there's like maybe one more in the boat? Oh boy. We have a lot of puzzles left. God, I just like can't remember any of these at all. I don't remember where I found half of these. Is the problem. Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna end it off here and... Yeah, we'll have to just see. If I could just skim through my, my videos and see exactly when I find these, that would be useful, but that's a lot of videos to skim through. But I'll just make an effort. We'll look around the starting area again and all of that stuff. Oh yeah, I, I guess this one is probably the the secret, right? Like that's opening up the door, isn't it? To the resort? The hotel? Maybe. I can't quite remember, but that would make sense, being on the bottom as well. So it it definitely does seem like there's some sort of logic to how they're positioned on the pillars, other than just the face pointing in the direction of where you're supposed to find them. But it's a little hard to fully understand that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Lots more environmental puzzle finding from now on, I suppose. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!